Hi, I'm Clara. Last week we talked about the different versions of Snapchat. Have you checked it? Please click the video up here to watch the video. Today I will share you a solution for cutting circles. Sometimes we'll find the circle we cut is not as round as it should be. You can click the link below in the description to have a trip to our store. Before get into the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. Thank you. On this issue, I will make it into two conditions. Let's see the video map first. And the same, the software is subcut. I don't familiar whether other softwares will show the same problem, so please be careful on trying the solution if the software is not subcut. First of all, we need to open subcut, draw a 5mm circle to measure the error. Click on the toolbar of the software CNC error matter, and due to the version, the error matter could be in the home error matter. Note that the machine will be in motion at this point. Green is the original trajectory and red or blue is the trajectory generated by the encoder feedback data. We call it feedback trajectory for short. Generally speaking, the fitting division between the feedback trajectory and the green original trajectory does not exceed 0.02 mm. We can get measured data through software measurement tools. If the cat circle is relatively round as a whole and the measured division is also less than 0.02 mm, we first need to modify the parameters to marking, keep the original cutting speed unchanged, change the power, focus, nozzle head for marking. Note that we need to adjust the parameters to make the marking line thinner and clearer, and then observe the marking circle. If we find that the marked circle is very round, but the cutting is not round, generally when cutting, the metal plate will tremble due to the influence of air pressure, or the metal plate itself is not very stable. Corrugated tracks are prone to appear. In response to this problem, our suggestion is to rearrange the metal plate Try to make the plate on the blade as smoothly as possible. If the plate is thin, we suggest to turn on the vibration suppression function in BCS100. If we find that the marked circle is not very round, we need to reduce the marking speed to 0.5 meter per minute and then test the marking again. If we find that the marked circle becomes round after deceleration, the reason for the out of round cutting may be insufficient servo rigidity or insufficient mechanical rigidity. We have already ruled out the cause of insufficient servo rigidity when we did the error measurement in the first step. Therefore, in this step, the speed is reduced for marking and if the circle is found to be round, it may be caused by insufficient mechanical rigidity. That is, the movement of the cutting head cannot keep up with the movement of the motor, and the cutting is not round due to trajectory deformation and distortion. Regarding this problem, our suggestion is to check the mechanical transmission mechanism. Focus on checking the rigidity of the Z-axis backplane and the rigidity of the XY-axis coupling. Among them, to check the rigidity of the Z-axis backboard, we can drop the cutting head at one end of the board and shake the cutting head by hand to see if it's loose. Be careful not to touch the nozzle. If the marked circle is still not round after reducing the speed, the reason is basically the problem of mechanical transmission. The common problems are too large gap, mechanism damage, and so on. We can confirm the general direction of the problem according to the marked circle. As shown in the figure, there is a flight surface in the direction of the X or Y axis. Generally, there is a gap 
in the transmission of the x or y axis you can try to push the corresponding axle mechanism by hand or matter to confirm the problem as shown in the figure there are irregular protrusions which are generally caused by damage to the transmission mechanism are jamming with foreign objects it's recommended to remove the motor and reducer to diagnose the problems one by one let's go back to the beginning if the result of the measurement is that the circle is obviously not round and the deviation is greater than 0.02 mm we need to modify the radiative value of the sub motor of each axis according to the measurement results as shown in this picture, we need to reduce the rigidity of the x-axis submotor or increase the rigidity of the y-axis submotor. As shown, we need to reduce the rigidity of the y-axis submotor or increase the rigidity of the x-axis submotor. If the result is as shown in the figure, we need to reduce the rigidity of the x and the y-axis cell motors as a whole. If the measurement results are as shown in the figure, we need to increase the rigidity of the x and y-axis cell motors. Another result is that if the feedback track has a large deformation, our suggestion is to set the rigidity of the x and y-axis cell motors to be consistent first and then measure and adjust according to the above four situations. If your situation doesn't belong to the above four categories and the can is still not run after repeated debugging, you need to contact the supplier. If after adjustment, the deviation is less than 0.02 mm, but the can is still not run, then you need to return to the first situation we just talked about and check one by one. Do you enjoy today's video? Thanks for watching. I will be appreciated if you can click the share button below and let me help more friends who are inserting free and practical knowledge of Fab Laser Carting Machines. Thank you for your support. It's a great motive to allow me to do more for you. Please don't forget to subscribe me if you are new and if you still have the time, Stick around and check another video. See you next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Bye. The next step is to download the free PPS file in the description below. You can get a collection of my videos, which is easy to locate the video you want.